I think we need a bit of dry shampoo here because I should have washed my hair. It's classic third day hair when you think you can push your look and get an extra day out of it and you just look like a big greasy mess. All in all, I need to shower more and if that's not a good way to start a beauty related video, I don't know what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I've got a new Average Girl Tries video for my series. Um, if you've never watched one before, it's pretty much what it says on the tin. I'm the most average girl going with the most average makeup skills and basically I try a load of stuff and find out whether you need to be a professional makeup artist to make it look good and whether this stuff is actually worth our hard-earned money. You might already know what I'm going to be testing today, well actually if you've read the title then you definitely will know what I'm testing today but those of you who saw my last Primark haul will have already known way in advance what this video is. Today I'm going to be trying out Primark lip kits. Who even knew these were a thing that existed? There was definitely at least one more that I didn't pick up because the other one was a glitter lip kit, which I just don't have time for. But today I am going to be testing out four of the matte collection and then additionally one from the metallic collection, which I am excited to try but slightly terrified of. If you enjoy this video then please do remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below as well. Um, but enough of me chatting, let's get stuck in and see how we get on with the Primark lip kits. So as a bit of background info, these are the PS Get Lippy Matte Collection. They are £3 each and in each one you get a matte liquid lipstick and the matching lip liner. So basically exactly like you do with the Kylie Jenner lip kits or I think Barry M do their own lip kits now as well. This is the first shade that I was drawn to. This is called Cookie Dough, which I think is a really cute um, little shade name. But should we get stuck in with this one? I'm excited to try it. As you can see from the like colour swatch on the top here, this looks like kind of Primark's version of the go-to nude lip colour. First of all, these boxes are really hard to open. So I'm going to go in with the lip liner first and we'll see how we get on here. They feel and look exactly the same as the Kylie Jenner lip liners. Right, so that is how I would normally use a lip liner. And I have to say, I am totally pleasantly surprised by how nice that was to use. I'm shook! The product is so lovely and creamy. I'm probably going to keep referencing the Kylie Jenner lip kits just as like a kind of comparison, um, but this feels very similar to those. Maybe not quite as creamy, but this feels really really comfortable to use. To be honest, I was expecting it to feel a little bit scratchy and as though it was kind of pulling on my lips a bit. The colour's a lot less brown than I was expecting. Um, it's actually quite pink in real life. I don't know whether that's going to pick up on camera at all, um, but it's definitely sort of like not far off my actual lip colour. I've overlined my lips slightly for the full lip kit effect and now I'm going to go in with the matching liquid lipstick and we'll see how this goes. Let's do a smell test as well. It doesn't smell great <laughs> but it also doesn't smell horrendous um, so that's what I'll look for in life. <laughs> as long as it doesn't smell bad I'll go for it. Okay I'm excited. I feel really like now that I've tried that lip liner, I feel quite positive about this whole thing. Okay, this is not what I was expecting the colour to look like at all. Have I picked up the wrong one? No, this is the right one, I'm sure. Is anyone else quite confused by this colour? So that's weird. This is supposed to be cookie dough, which is this colour on the box. And it's definitely not that colour on my face. It's even kind of like peachy which is kind of weird and not what I was expecting at all. I really, I like the colour. It feels very comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel too dry at all, which is not what I was expecting. Although I have to say, now that it is on my lips, it is kind of making a bit of a point to show all the little nooks and crannies of my lips. But feels surprisingly comfortable to wear. Doesn't feel like I want to rip my own mouth off because it's so dry and I like the colour. It's just totally not what I was expecting though, so I feel confused. The next one I'm going to try is the shade Flutter, which is pretty much what I thought this colour would be. Um, so who knows what this is going to be. Some kind of like lilac-y purple probably. Makes much as much sense about this being this. As you can see on the packaging, Flutter looks like a very pretty peachy colour. But then inside the actual packaging, the product 
is not the same colour. This is very confusing. Okay, so this is absolutely zero peach of any kind. Um, it's actually very pink. Uh, so hilariously, I joked about the fact that this colour was going to be lilac, um, and it kind of is which is so weird. Again, the formula of this is really nice. I really like it. It's very comfortable to wear. It's very creamy and soft. Um, it's very easy to apply and build up some colour. But I just can't believe that... What? <laughs> this looks like it could be a really nice shade, but let's actually see what it looks like. So this is Flutter. Um... I literally, I don't know what to say because I'm just so confused by the way that Primark have packaged these lip kits. I don't understand. It's a very pale shade, which I don't think is a great look for me. I feel like it makes me look a little bit dead. Um, there's kind of some like very pale lilac-y grey undertones in that pink, which I don't think it's the most flattering colour in the world on me, but it's very pretty and I think it would suit a lot of people. This one feels a little bit drier to wear than Cookie Dough did, which is interesting. So maybe there's a few differences between all the formulas, uh, but still nothing so annoying that I'm like, oh my god, get this off me, ah! Some liquid lipsticks you put on your face and you're like, I can't do this, this needs to come off. <laughs> um, but I don't feel like that would be the case with these at all. These actually feel surprisingly comfy to wear. But when I look at it up close, I can really sort of see... I haven't got cracks in my lips, but I think lips that haven't had any like fillers or anything to make them look super smooth and plump and juicy have kind of like natural cracks in them. Like that's just the texture of lips. Um, and these colours are sort of highlighting that a little bit. It makes it look drier than it actually feels to wear, which is kind of weird. You know the Instagram videos you get where girls are like applying the perfect liquid lipstick and their lips just look like little pillows that you want to kind of like put your head on. Uh, my lips don't look like that, that's for sure. Anyway, I do kind of like the colour. It's pretty, but it's not the soft peach that I was expecting. But is anything in life the soft peach that you're expecting? No. Cool, so let's ditch Flutter and then I think next I might try Girls World, which is this cool berry colour. So according to the box, this should be like the perfect pinky purpley Ribena shade. But as we've seen so far, the Get Lippy boxes don't always tell the truth. They're telling a few porkies when it comes to colour. So let's see how this one looks. Wow, this is pigmented. Okay, this is more like it. I'm impressed with this one. Whoa. Okay, this is actually darker than I thought it was going to be and more purple. Okay, this is cool. This is definitely going to be killer for getting it on my teeth though while it's drying down. So, sells if there's any on my teeth while I'm trying this one. Really like the colour. I was hoping it was going to be identical to the lip liner shade, which was a bit pinker than the full whammy has actually turned out to be. But I think it looks pretty cool. And if you look at the colour of the lid, that's not too far off what you'd expect to get, I don't think, if you bought this. So that's pretty awesome that it's actually kind of a bit more what it says on the tin than the other two. It does feel quite heavy on my lips, I've got to say. I think the most comfortable one so far has definitely been cookie dough. Um, and I feel like they're getting more sort of like obvious on my lips. Maybe that's because I've started like piling product one on top of the other. It's a little bit patchy and a little bit streaky. But I think pretty much every lip kit that I've ever tried, or like every like liquid lipstick that I've tried, that's been the case with the dark colours. Like I know especially with the Kylie ones when I bought the shade Courtney when they first came out, um, the nude shades were great, but that Courtney shade, which was like a dark vampy colour, was really hard to get it streak free. Um, so I think that's just kind of the case for like purpley, dark vampy lippies. But I think for three quid, this one, is really cool. I really like this and I'd wear this for a night out. I just thought I could do a little bit of a test with this one as well. I'm gonna see if it's kiss proof. Not quite. Whoever you wanna be snogging, uh, maybe this isn't the colour to do it in. Unless you're into branding, 
your bay, in which case, go for it. Right, the last one of the matte collection is the one I'm excited to try. This is chocolate brownie. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a super rich, awesome, kick-ass dark brown. Oh, blood, I've got it everywhere. Help me. Ah. Let's get chocolate brownie on. Oh, I wish it was an actual chocolate brownie. I'd much rather put that in and around my mouth than this. Interestingly, chocolate brownie has turned out to be not that dark and basically the colour that I was expecting cookie dough to be. Like I'd call this like a mid nudie brown. Um, I wouldn't call it chocolate brownie. But maybe the liquid lipstick is the dark part. So let's have a go. Ah, okay. This is a lot darker than the lip liner. Feeling like queen of the 90s right now. So this is cookie dough. Uh, just to complete the whole four, not really what I was expecting uh, according to the box, but kind of like this one. Um, there's a few things that have confused me about it though. So I really like the lip liner formula again. I feel like these lip liners are really good. I'm definitely going to keep hold of these. But the lip liner shade was a lot warmer toned than the actual liquid lipstick. I feel like they don't really go together very well. They're not the same colour. I feel like they don't really do any favours for each other, um, which is a bit annoying because you kind of bought them as a set, but I suppose for three quid, whatever. This one feels very comfortable. This one isn't bothering me at all, um, so that's good to know. But this kind of hints at quite a rich brown, slightly very sort of subtle purpley tint to it for a really kind of deep colour. And this just isn't really giving me that. This is more of like a grazy brown, which is cool and very 90s and I really like it, but it's not what's on the box. It's just not. Right, last but not least, we're gonna try the one that I've been really looking forward to. This is the Get Lippy Metallic Collection and this is in the shade Molten Bronze. Buzzing! So let's see how it looks. I'm kind of nervous. Hello? Is this actually giving any colour? Oh, I can see it on my hand, but is this an invisible lip liner? I don't think it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's an absolute epic fail of a lip liner. If I draw it on my hand, you might be able to see it slightly, but it's taking a lot of build up, which you just would not do on your lips. Okay, so I've done what I can with that. I've literally gone back and forth over it so many times. I'm really confused because the other lip liners with the matte collection were so intensely pigmented, especially that purple. It hasn't really done anything except kind of leave a bit of a frosted finish, which isn't really what you want a lip liner for. Like, you want the lip liner to intensify the colour and to keep things in place. Let's ignore that and let us go on to the actual interesting part, which is the metallic liquid lip. I'm really scared. I feel like this is gonna look mental. Um, <laughs> I mean, I feel like this might not be my best look of all time. Um, and I hate it. I'm, I'm just gonna say the metallic lip life is not the one for me. I literally look, or like I look awful. That's not a good look for me. I'm not sure why that looks so bad on me, but apparently it does. I feel like it makes me look a little bit like a Batman villain. Um, maybe like a Poison Ivy kind of vibe, which is cool. Um, and then maybe if I was a bit of a cooler person, this would look good, but I just can't pull this off. I... Less about how it looks ridiculous on me and more about the product itself. Um, the lip liner did nothing. The lip liner was rubbish. I'm not into that at all. Um, the liquid lipstick took some building. But I feel like if a product is pitching itself as a metallic collection of molten bronze, um, it should be a bit more impactful than this was without a lot of building. And because I've had to put kind of like three thick layers one on top of the other, it feels quite intense to be wearing it on my lips. But I feel like on me, it just looks like a really dodgy frost finish 90s lip, which is probably a 90s trend that should have stayed in the 90s. But it's cool. This is the thing about Primark makeup. 
So I like that it lets people try these mad things like metallic lipstick for three quid. Like I've tried a whole new trend that I've never tried before and I've spent three quid doing it. Um, hey, it's not for me, but now that I know that and I haven't gone to MAC or to YSL or Urban, Urban Decay and spent 20 pounds on their equivalent to find out that I don't like it, if you know what I mean. So I really rate Primark makeup for giving people the chance to do that. Um, and I definitely wouldn't get to have tried something like this without their version of it. Okay, um, I'm gonna put my favourite one back on, which I think might have been the first one. I think I liked cookie dough the best. Um, I'm gonna put that back on anyway, because it was ages ago that I had that on my face. So I'm gonna take this one off, I think. Um, I'm gonna put that one back on and then I'll do some final thoughts. So, does the average girl need the Primark Get Lippy lip kits? Um, I would say maybe, yeah. I think for three pounds, they are actually really nice little beauty products. There's a few issues with them, as we've found. Number one, the lip kit boxes do not match the actual colours that you get. This was the most ridiculous one. Flutter looked absolutely nothing like this. They're nice products and they feel good on your lips and they feel not too dry so that you want to rip your own mouth off. They feel like you could wear them for a few hours and they look great. They are really nice shades. They're very matte so you do kind of have to make sure that your lips are in semi-decent condition. Um, but once applied, like they look really pretty. All in all, they get a thumbs up from me. I feel like maybe the packaging needs to be looked at slightly. Um, or there should be some kind of like little swatch station um, in the beauty department, even if like that's the cheapest way to do it, just so you can see what you're actually buying. But all in all, I'm definitely a fan. I'm definitely gonna keep hold of the lip liners because they are a great formula. Uh, big fan of those. And the liquid lipsticks are pretty great as well. I'd give them like a solid seven out of 10. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do give it a little thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these Primark lip kits. Have you tried them? Are they your fave? Did you absolutely hate them? Are there any shades that you've seen me try today that you've now got your eye on? Just let me know in the comments. I would love to have a little chat with you about it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. And also there's a little bell next to it. And if you hit that, you will get a notification every time I upload a new video. Also, as a cool little side note, um, if you check out the description box down below, there is a link to find out about the meetup that I'm having um, on the 23rd of September in London. If you fancy coming to hang out with me, then hit the link below and you can see all the details there. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really appreciate you being here. I need to go and scrub my mouth off now because trying five lip kits, one on top of the other, has left me with the mouth of a dried out old crab. And on that note, I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye! Mwah!